Hey everybody, Rick's here. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to review this 32 pouring acrylic colors from Arteza. And to do that, I'm going to, well actually my wife's going to do an acrylic pouring using this product. It'll be the first time that either of us have ever done an acrylic pouring. So you're going to be joining us for this right after this short intro. Well, it turns out that I forgot to turn the sound on for my camera, so I'm going to narrate. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up this box of Arteza 32 as I bang the, the tripod where my camera is and everything starts shaking. Sorry about that. So then I'm going to pull this cardboard thing off and there they are, all those pretty colors. So we're going to just start pulling them out one by one. <music> So let's take a look at these colors that we have here. The first color that we're going to take a look at is Ultramarine Blue. And this one is Sea Green. We have Neon Pink. And I believe that one may be Rose Pink. Let's get those out of the way. And we have Neon Green. And that one looks like neon purple. Well, it looks like this one's the rose pink. So the other one was actually carnation or carnation pink. And then we have bronze. This one's forest green. And coral. Silver gray. Neon orange. Uh, cerise pink and that's lavender okay this one's definitely bronze and we got neon yellow uh, let's see I think that one's mid yellow and uh, wow okay and then we have pastel yellow and then this one here is uh, Pitalo Green, Brilliant Red, Vermilion Red, Lavender, Ultramarine Blue, Mars Black, Titanium White, and again, titanium white, get a couple of bottles of that and a couple of bottles of that uh, Mars Black and Neon Blue and the Mars Black again. Okay, so well, it's time to start pouring our colors into this plastic cup. And my wife has decided she was going to start with the white, and then I think she's going to add on uh, some of this yellow here. I'm not quite sure which one. I think it might be a neon yellow, quite possibly. And we're kind of discussing here as to how might we go about doing this, since we have absolutely no clue what we're doing. So we're going to keep this tilted and kind of go off the side there and and uh, basically saying, hey, we got to make sure the camera can see this. So anyway, we're pouring in some colors here and looks like a forest green. And uh, one of the things I want to say about these uh, paints is that they're already uh, formulated to uh, do the pores. You don't have to add any of that uh, flow stuff uh, that uh, you can find out there. Uh, we definitely have that. But... Um, we don't need to use it because these paints are ready to go. Okay, she took the cap off that one because uh, she decided she didn't want to squirt it in. But uh, I, th I think we're gonna we're gonna try to squirt the others in. I hope. Yeah, there we go. So 
we're just going to keep on flushing all these different colors in and then after she goes through all the colors that she has chosen then she will start over with the first color again white and do the same old sequence once again. Okay, we really filled that cup up, and now what we're going to do is uh, she decided she wants to put the canvas down on top and then flip the whole thing over, and I said, okay, go ahead and do it that way. I kind of figured I was going to pour, so I'll pour mine when we get to mine, but we're going to do hers first. You're going to find out that hers turned out a lot better than mine, but hey, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so we're just going to, guess, pop the old cup here and just let it go. Ooh, what a mess. Now, seriously, folks, we are amateurs at this. We've never done it. This is actually the very first one, and this one is hers. She chose the colors. Now, I got a little in there, and I thought, okay, you know, I'm going to start tipping this thing around and so forth. And, and she's like, you know, give that to me. That's mine. So I'm going to be handing this thing over to her in a second here, and let her take over. Well, at this point, she got tired of me uh, coaching, so I'm picking up the uh, camera here and uh, going to let her do her thing. And basically just moving this canvas around uh, from end to end to cover the sides as much as possible. And sometimes we might have to use our finger or something. We don't have one of those little palette knives, which would have been cool. Just going to tilt it to one side to the other and so forth and try to cover all those uh, barrage. You see the little corner there is going to need a little bit. And, you know, I'd be coaching say, hey, right over there to the left, over to the right. But look how pretty that is. Do you see how pretty that is? And we're talking about two amateurs here that don't even have a clue as to how to do this. And yet we were able to, well, she was able to pull that one off. So it looks like uh, sunny days ahead when it comes to this acrylic pouring thing with our Arteza paints. Okay, well that was my wife's and uh, we didn't have the sound plugged in so I had to narrate that first part. I, I apologize for that but I think we have the sound on now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do one now because it looks so cool. I figure, hey, I want one. Now these are the colors I've decided on. And don't ask me why, I have no logic to my reasoning, but I'm going to go ahead and start. And I'm going to use a different approach than she did, only because I'm curious. So, let me get my purple in there. And then I'm going totally dark up front. You know what? I got an idea. I just had a brainstormer. I'm going to go a little bit of white. Okay, then I'm going to go put my little blue on top of that, so it has something to contrast against. Alright, so a little pause there with the camera because we had to open up these bottles. So I'm going to go ahead now and put in this uh, neon pink. And I think I'm going to go back to my white again. And I'm going to get 
some white dripping around here like so because I'm a goofball don't ask my wife she won't tell you the truth all right and let's see what do we got here you want to ask me nope let's see I'm not sure I want orange in this thing I don't want orange orange you're fired so I'm going to use this cerise pink All right, then I'm gonna go back with my white again. And I'm gonna go back with my purple. And I'm good, I'm golden. I think I got enough. If I don't, so be it. All right. I'm going to try a different approach here. So I'm going to take this cool stuff, take a look at that. All right, and here's what I'm going to do. All right. I like space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of Starship Enterprise. Nice little sunset going there. Oh, do, 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 do. Dee, 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 dee. I'm such a guy. Look at me. I'm such a guy. Woo oh, look at that. It's like an island. Island off the beaches of uh, uh, Australia or something. Uh, I want some of that pink stuff to start floating down there. Like really cool like. I got to get that corner down there though. Come on corner. Come on. See, look at the waves. I got waves. I love my waves. Okay, let's see. I don't want to lose my pink there. Okay, so now. Oh, wow. Look at my ocean. It's an ocean. Ocean 11. Uh -huh. Go. Okay. Pop some bubbles. It makes some little fishy eyes probably pop up there. That's what she tells me anyway. Where's them? Where's the bubble? There's a bubble. See them bubbles? Look at that pretty blue, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Wow. Yeah. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry, and uh, we'll show you the finished products when we come back. Okay, well, here is the final product. And uh, not too bad for a couple of amateurs. Of course, my wife's, that's over here on the left, the greenish one, is way better than mine according to the senses of a few others so anyway that's fine I'm okay I like it it looks nice but there you go I think it pr looks pretty cool well there you go everybody I certainly hope you like this video and demonstration of the Arteza 32 pouring acrylic colors premium it's already mixed. Uh, it's already ready to pour. You just open the bottle and take the tab off and 
pour into the cups and there you go you can make yourself some great artwork we're definitely going to be doing this again at least i know my wife is she really got a kick out of it uh, I think she got a better finger for it than I do. But anyway, if you like this video, please slam the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.